Hello everyone, welcome to Exam Assure. So today we are going to discuss about uh, the recent notification issued by the UPSC, that is the U Union Public Service Commission for the post of Deputy Architect. So they've released the exam date for the same, which is going to be 11th of August, 2024. So we have the last 45 days remaining with us with respect to the preparation and uh, we at Exam Assure are getting a lot of queries from a lot of students uh, regarding what should be the last few days strategy or what can be done, etc. So today we are going to discuss about how we could approach or keep our preparation in the last 45 days. This video would be helpful for students who j have probably just started uh, with their preparation again after a gap of a few days because if you see the notification came last year in 2023 and uh, it's been a long that after a long while that the date has come out. So let us look at uh, what they've mentioned with respect to the syllabus also or the topics that you need to study with respect to the exam. So uh, in the notification that uh, the UPSC had issued, they've mentioned about all of these topics, right from architectural design to basic design, computer applications, climatology. Uh, new topics that have been introduced are like data communication and network, computer networks. Along with that, your internet of things and applications. Its applications have is something, a new topic that has been introduced this year or in this uh, notification. Other than that, if you look at the other topics, that is contemporary architecture, estimation, physical planning, professional practice, interior design, landscape, urban design, earthquake resistant structures, construction management, conservation, housing, etc. Building bylaws and national building code, very, very important. So if you look at all of these topics overall, I'm sure all of you are very familiar with all of these topics because these are something that we study throughout our course of five years of architecture. So how, what should be the approach or what can we do rather for the last 45 days? Now to take an idea or just to have a glimpse, let us quickly look at the analysis of the previous year papers. So if you look at the 2015 paper of the UPSC assistant architect exam, so here, if you see it, majority of the questions were from your architectural design topics. Then you have few topics or questions related to history of architecture, which have more weightage. Then overall, if you see climatology, earthquake design, services, construction, and the rest, let's say planning, project management, have been given more or less an equal weightage. Similarly, coming to the 2016 paper of Deputy Architect and Assistant Architect, where here as well you see 11 questions from architectural design, around 13 questions for building construction materials, uh, roughly 10 questions for history of architecture, plus you have another 10 questions for building services, and then you have uh, an equal distribution roughly for the rest of the topics or subjects. Similarly, for the 2019 MES, that is the Military Engineering Services exam for Deputy Architect, which was conducted by the UPSC itself. Here also we see a similar pattern that is 11 questions from architectural design, uh, 9 questions for history of architecture, then you have climatology, building services, and then the rest of the topics. And similarly, even last year for the assistant architect exam of 2023, out of the total of 120 questions, here as well we see 13 questions for architectural design, rather 10 questions for history of architecture, and then uh, 10 questions for building services, a few for building construction, etc. So if I do a comparative analysis of all of these four years, we see a majority of questions or more weightage that has been given to your topics or subjects like architectural design, history of architecture, your earthquake design, earthquake resistant structures, building construction material, climatology, services, building bylaws and standards, your national building code, etc. So these, it from this analysis, it we can see that more weightage has been given to these subjects. 
But along with this, now even if you take the example for architecture design or history of architecture as a subject, these we all know are very vast subjects that we study throughout our course of architecture, right? We, if you take, for example, architecture design or even history of architecture, it's a vast subject, vast, uh, large number of topics. So in that case, what should be the primary focus? Because if you see, UP has, UPSC has not detailed out what needs to be studied or what topics should be studied from each subject like we usually see in other exams. So here, what could our approach be is now if you look at a few examples, let's say I will first take the example for your architectural design. Now in this case, if you look at these few questions, so I've picked up these questions from all the four years. Now, if you uh, look at this question, it's talking about your color theory. Magenta is a color derived from one of the following systems of color. So here we can say this is your color theory based question. The next one, it is asking about the presence of irregularity in design in which regularity is still prevails, maybe defined as what. So this is something more related to the principles of design that we study. Then if we look at another question which can be uh, considered as a part of architectural design, let's say is a famous book, The Disappearing City is written by. Now this is again your books and authors, a very, very important part or very, very important topic. Along with that, if you look at this next question, which is asking about a conic section formed by the intersection of a right circular cone with a plane that cuts through both the axis and the surface of the cone. So this is something related to your geometry or your shapes, right? The next one is uh, asking about which of the following is not a building designed by Richard Rogers. So again, architects and their works is something that is important. Coming to the next question, now creating architectural design proposals may not include. So again, here this is your basic design and practice. So now if you see, if you look at these questions, it gives us a much clearer idea or a much better picture that what do we need to focus more on or which topics do we need to focus more on even in the field, even in the subject of architectural design. Coming to the next one that is history of architecture if I may say so. Now if you've seen the topics like I discussed in the first slide, they've not mentioned history of architecture as such anywhere. They've only mentioned theory of architecture and uh, contemporary architecture. But if you look at these questions, the first three questions that are there, which the first one, this one is asking about the archaeological evidence of urban architecture is from Hoysala period, Buddhist, Islamic or Harappa. Or if you look at this, now this is basically your ancient history, ancient period related. The second question here, question number 19 that you can see is about Dravidian style and Nagara style of temple architecture. So this is your Indian architecture, temple architecture. Over here, if you look at this, the layout of Mohenjo-daro and Harappa, again, your Indus Valley civilization, same ancient period, right? So now, even though this, your history of architecture, let's say, or your ancient Indian history of architecture, etc., was not mentioned as such. However, you see these kind of questions in the previous year papers. So knowing about this is also quite important. Now, if you come to this question again, over here, it is asking about the publications by uh, architect Charles Jenks are which ones? Critical modernism, complexity and contradictions in architecture. So now this is again, 
more about your architects and their work plus more inclined towards your modernism and postmodernism of architecture, postmodern architecture. The next set of questions, if you look at these, right? Excellent integration between structural and decorative design reflects in the work of whom? Or the Bahá'u school of thought is given by? Or Pablo Picasso was known for his creation in Impressionism, Pointillism, Dadism or Cubism. So these are more related to your modernism. So now if you observe one thing over here, the more focus, let's say, under the entire subject of history of architecture is more on modernism as well as your Indian architecture. Right? So these kind of topics we have already shortlisted and have curated a course for the students who are, uh, some of who are uh, coming up to us with queries regarding how should we prepare or what can be done in the last few days. So we are coming up with a live online crash course for this UPSC deputy architect. So we will be beginning from 25th of June. For more de details and more queries, you all may please uh, scan this QR code or you can get in touch with us on this number that is 76317-66140. So you all can uh, know more details about the course, the timings, etc. by scanning this code, QR code or directly contact us on this phone number. So wish you all all the best and thank you.